Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shegun Baje. Today, we are considering the faith of Abraham in the light of the fear or reverence that he had for God. Abraham was a man who feared God. In Genesis chapter 22, when God tested the faith of Abraham, the Bible tells us that in verse 11, when Abraham was to sacrifice his son, slaughter his throat, the angel of the Lord called unto him and said, don't do it. He says, now I know that you fear God. Hallelujah. You see, Abraham was a man that feared God and Abraham's faith in God was motivated by his reverence for God. The reason he had so much faith in God was because he had so much reverence for God. In fact, faith is a child of honor. If I honor you and I revile you, I'll believe in you. That means whatever it is that you say, I will act upon it because I honor you. Abraham's fear or reverence for God was the reason he believed God the way he did. He says, now I know that you fear God. Hallelujah. He was a man who feared God greatly. Beloved, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You see, men who tremble at the word of God, people who revere God greatly, are people of great faith because their faith in God is a product of the reverence that they have for God. Beloved, it is important for you to learn the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Speaking of Jesus in Isaiah chapter 11, you start the reading from verse 2. It says, The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of um, understanding, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of God. The Bible tells us that that spirit of the fear of the Lord was upon Jesus and made him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And so Jesus did not judge after the sight of his eyes or the hearing of his ear. He judged righteous judgment. He went by faith, by reality, the reality of God's word. He did not go by sight. Praise God. And so he was a man of great faith because of the spirit of the fear of the Lord at work in his life. Joseph was a man of great faith because he feared God. You remember when Potiphar's wife called unto him to come have fun with her? And Joseph said, no, shall I do this great wickedness and sin against God? He was a man of faith. You remember when um, he was to die, he told the children of Israel, he said, look, don't bury me here. All right, take my bones to the promised land. He could see that Israel um, was going to enter into the promised land. He saw it by faith because he revered God. He was a man of great faith because he was a man that feared God. Hallelujah. Beloved, the foundation of faith that brings prompt obedience to God's word is the fear of the Lord. That is the root of it. When you revere God from your heart, you will walk in faith. Beloved, today I pray for you. The hand of the Lord is strong upon you. That dimension of the fear of the Lord is upon you. You walk in the fear of the Lord and you tremble at the word of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And your faith is greatly built up. Your faith is greatly strengthened in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. So refuse to allow strife paralyze your faith walk. Strife is dangerous to your health in the spirit. It is not good for you. God.